Welcome back to Idaho Today. You know, cyber abuse has always been a problem, but the recent pandemic has really exacerbated the issue by providing a bully ripe environment of isolation, anxiety, and increased time on screens. So the Speedy Foundation here in Boise wants to provide open dialogue about this topic and others. We're joined right now by Sam Jacobson from the Speedy Foundation and Colby Twice from the Children's Home Society of Idaho to tell us more because there's a really important event that I think is going to be eye-opening for many of us to talk about this issue. Uh, but for those who may not be familiar with the Speedy Foundation, it's really been a part of the community for quite a while, for a long time. But for those who are new to it, explain the foundation to them and how it all came about. Yeah, so the Speedy Foundation started in 2011. Um, it was named and is kind of for um, Jarrett Speedy, who was a three-time Olympic skier. Um, Jarrett Speedy tragically died by suicide um, in 2011. Mm. And so ever since then, you know, not has it, it only impacted families and friends, but it hit the nation hard. So ever since then, we've made it our mission to not only provide mental health services, but to advocate and educate and to conversate um, suicide awareness and mental health awareness as a whole. Yes, and you're actually working too with the Children's Home Society of Idaho. You guys are working together on November 17th at JUMP, and this is an opportunity for those watching to come out and be a part of this, but you're actually discussing, you're showing and discussing a movie, it's called The Upstanders. So tell us about this film and the purpose of sharing this with the, with the community. Well, um, first of all, you know, when we team up together, we've done this before with the Speedy Foundation. Um, it's just a great collaboration. Um, you know, we um, are able to give counseling services to those that cannot afford it. And the Speedy Foundation is able to, um, uh, you know, give information and resources and stuff for those uh, for prevention of suicide, you know. so. Um, one of the biggest things about bullying and what it leads to has been, you know, uh, suicide mm -hmm. and what we can do for the kiddos and so that they are not feeling so alone. Um, we are seeing right now that, you know, I know when I was growing up as a child, the um, bullying stopped when you got home. Mm -hmm. You know, you go to school and then you go home and you're comforted by your, your parents. It's different nowadays. Now you go home and it's online and it never ever stops. These kids don't get a break and anybody can be a bully. Um, so we just think it's really important to share this film and for, te uh, for teachers, excuse me, teachers and parents to come together and see what they can do at home, what signs they can see mm -hmm. and help their kids. Or maybe their kids are showing signs of being the bully. How can they help stop that? And it's nothing to be ashamed of on either side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's important, like you mentioned, for parents to be aware and be involved. And I think to your point as well, too, you know, previously in younger generations when you were bullied, it wasn't on a small screen privately in silence. You know, silence meaning that parents don't hear it or see it happen, right, unless you're following your child's account, which let's, you know, sometimes there's private accounts. Sometimes parents don't right. know. Some, some parents don't pay attention. So on, uh, to me sometimes, too, it's like it's a private bullying that's exactly. actually happening as well, too, and it's always there. Like you were talking always there, about. they can't always there. So this film, as a parent, I'm looking forward to the fact that perhaps it's going to give some insights that I'm just not aware of, right? Especially with that generational gap and then that whole phone in the hand thing, right? Which is something I cannot relate to from my youth. It's it's hard for me to understand that a little bit sometimes. So the film, The Upstanders, it addresses the epidemic, um, but why is it such an important topic to talk about right now? We talked about how the pandemic really exacerbated the issue. Where are we at now and why is it important that we're addressing this? Right, it's such an important topic now because like Colby said, the older generation, you know, they had bullying in school mm -hmm. and right now we are facing bullying within our kids and within our youth, you know, at school but also off of school um, through their screens and through social media. And so it's really important to let parents and teachers and counsel counselors and therapists know but this is a huge issue that's happening um, with our kids. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we wanna just create that open discussion and the open panel to educate um, other mentors about this. Yeah, raise that flag and increase that yeah. awareness, right? I was gonna say it's an opportunity too for other nonprofits to come together. We have um, Girls on the Run that's gonna be there. Oh, great. Um, we have Gathering Goods that's gonna be there, which is a nonprofit that was started by teenagers that go to Timberline. Really? Yeah, it's, they're, it's oh, an amazing fantastic. organization. Um, you should definitely learn more about that. And um, we have other nonprofits so that they can kind of show other things that they can do outside of going home and being on social media and be interactive and be with other kids that can support them as well. And we really want this to be a discussion for 
for teachers and parents, counselors to come together. We're going to have appetizers. Um, you can have the first half hour of kind of looking around and seeing the vendors or the, sorry, the community partners that we have. Mm -hmm have a couple, some appetizers, and just talk to each other, and then join in the conversation, watch the documentary, learn more um, about it, and how they can take those, uh, what they've learned home to them. Yes, I love that. Yeah. I think that's great, making all those connections and kind of building that supportive community too, right? Especially if we do find ourselves in that position or that situation, knowing where to go, having the tools so you can manage it properly and make sure that help is there when it's needed. Right. So how can people watching be a part of this, um, either just to build awareness, maybe they need the resource right now, where do they go to get tickets, are there tickets? How do we attend? Yeah, so tickets, if you look up the speedyfoundation.org under events, um, it will be right there for you. It's on Eventbrite as well, so if you just search up Upstandards, it is right there for you. And so for adults it's $5, but for students it's free. So just kind of be ready, be hungry, because we have food and drinks for everyone. Um, so it's just going to be a very relaxed, um, safe, and friendly environment for us to just have the conversations that we need to have. I love that. I'm glad that you said it's a safe environment, yeah. right, mm -hmm. to have those conversations. Because sometimes things can be difficult to talk about, but they need to be talked about, mm -hmm. and they need to be shared. Okay, and that website, again, is at the bottom of the screen. It's speedyfoundation.org. We highly encourage all of you to attend, please. All right, more IDO Today coming up right after the break.